Hi everybody, I'm Simon Cooper from the Cooper Strip Club. Today we've got a different project to do. We're um, going to be taking some graffiti off the stainless steel siding here. Some people sort of made a very good art board. Anyone from New Zealand will, may well have seen these. These are the silver ferns. So they're an iconic piece of New Zealand history. And this is all stainless steel and it's supposed to be all shiny. So this is our stripper. Spray her on. Just keep it wet. We're probably only going to leave it on for five-ish minutes. You can see it reacts really, really fast. We want to give this a couple more minutes. So we'll come back to you shortly. So we've put this masking plastic along the bottom there, down onto the We've got a black tarp at the bottom with the plastic on top, so later on we'll be able to wrap it all up. So we have a squeegee here. So of course it's not going to go into the other bits there, but on the flat bits. That's all pretty easy. So take some of the bulk off, so use less rags. Now technically, if you wanted to, you could get a hot water blaster and take this all off with it, but you've got to be then mindful of where all the waste goes. You can't just let it all go down into the drain. So paint off aluminium boats, any stainless steel, any metal. Purpose is fine on isn't it? Yep. And be mindful, is this, this has not got primers and etch, you know, all that sort of stuff and undercoats. Some, some talented chaps with their aerosol cans came and did this so we're not saying for a second that they're all going to be you know the thicker the paint the more time and more stripper is going to need but at the end of the day it's still paint grab a rag and you can go like that let's go through a few rags this is matter This is a real spray and wipey one. We chose today because it said it was going to be cloudy and it was going to be lowish wind. And if we were stripping on this surface and it had blinding sun smashing straight onto it, it would evaporate the stripper away and would waste a, a lot of product. Outside there's heaps of ventilation. Now for the video here I'm doing this lower section so I can stand on the ground easy. But when you do a when you do your train make sure you start at the top and work your way down. Which is what George is doing down the end that he's doing it more or he's not doing it more like he is actually doing it as it's supposed to be done. But you start at the top because you will have drips and things that will come down and so later on anything up there will just drip through this. So this is one of our soft copper detail brushes. In this there's a seam here where the metal goes there so I think this is an appropriate place for it. The surface is wet isn't it? Yeah it's wet with the stripper. We call them a detail brush and you can see why we give it that name.
So this is a slow drying solvent that we've got called Flusher. And the idea of this is because that it's slow drying is it gives us time to work it. So you spray it on and then you can wipe off those residues. Is it neutralizing? Good good question. Um guess all your questions are good. Um, <laughs> there is nothing to neutralize. The stripper is pretty much pH neutral. What it's doing is uh, it removes the residue. So if you were putting a new coating on, you've got nothing left to get in the way. So don't do the flushing tomorrow or later on in the afternoon. Do it as you're doing the stripping. So that way you can see on the rag how it's all coming off onto there. So, and then once this flushing and wiping is done, then providing it looks good, you're done. The shiniest part of the rail car. Hmm. That looks pretty good. My first rail car. I'll get in a bit closer if I don't fall on my face. I'll pick you up. <laughs> okay. Shiny. Shiny in you. It's got all its patina. Well, there's my, let's call it a square meter done. It was pretty straightforward. Just about, I think it's about 40 meters per side. Not all of it's got graffiti on, but this side has. So we'll get the rest done and we'll see you at the end. square meters? Ten ish. And about how many litres? Uh, we're reckoning uh, around about three, two to two and a half, three. Um, goes a long, long way. You'll see us spraying a lot, but it doesn't actually go through a lot. So this is a bit different to what we normally strip. This is, this is fun. This is a bit different, hmm. which is what we'd like. So you're pointing. She's pointing at us. What? That's better. That's you're better. in the sun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> she does these finger movements. We haven't got a clue what about. So this is the throttle. That's the throttle on the okay, right well that's, hand. Yeah. That's the most important one. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, actually, the one on your left hand is more important. It's oh, the, the brake. brake. <laughs> the brake. Throttle brake. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah. So a thousand and ten horses in here. Yeah, a thousand and ten. It's a Caterpillar D three nine eight diesel, which is a big industrial engine found in a lot of uh, equipment like crushing plants and other industrial applications, and it drives a. Um, it's about a 900 kilowatt electric motor, which is basically this beast here. And it's really, it's a diesel electric, just like a, all the locomotives, or most of the locomotives on Kiwi Rail are. The diesel drives the electric, and the electric drives the wheels. Well, Cooper's is way more than just yeah. making and selling paint stripper. It's, it's about heritage. This has been great to be, to be able to be involved. One of our community projects. Yes. yes. Yeah. So well, we're so lucky that you're interested. <laughs> so yeah. thank you. Yeah, very nice anyway, to meet you. Cheers, Don. Okay. Good one. Okay. Thank you. Coopers, the stripper that gets it off every time. No sanding. So easy. None of that toxic, messy dust floating around.